Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm using to expand the ports on a 2020 M1 MacBook Air. I was looking around and I couldn't really find that many USB C hubs that actually had USB C ports on them. There was one other one that I found that wasn't really a recognized brand and I was a bit sort of wary of investing in them. It was quite expensive as well for what it was. This one recently came to market. It's a USB-C hub from Anchor called the Power Expand 6 in 1 and it has two USB type A ports on it that are USB 3. It has a USB-C data port on it which is 5 gigabits per second and then it has a USB-C type power delivery port which is capable of 65 watts of power delivery. It also has an HDMI port which can go up to 4K 30 hertz and a 1 gigabit per second ethernet port. It's made out of metal and sort of gunmetal look about it. Nice construction, feels solid, high quality and a really nice quality rated cable and a satisfying click when it plugs into the MacBook. It's pretty secure once it's in there. Uh, it gets a little bit warm when you put the power through it, but nothing crazy. I reached out to Apple and Anchor just to verify that it was compliant and that there were no issues with using it with the new M1 Max. And they both assured me that it's perfectly fine. So if you were concerned about that with the power delivery, it, it seems fine. I've been using it with the power delivery for a week or so now and uh, I've had no issues. But yeah, if you're anything like me and you have USB dongles like iLocks and e-licensers or USB keyboards, or type A or um, USB-C type external hard drives, which you kind of need for these MacBooks because of the limited storage. Something like this is a good, a good option. This one was, I think it was about 40 pounds, 39 pounds in the UK. And um, yeah, pretty much the best option out there that I could see. So if you're looking to expand the ports on your, your MacBook or even like 2018 Mac mini or anything like that, this is a good option. Cheers.